Hi guys, I've had an idea. Thanks for joining me again. Um, I was wondering if I could make a power pod for the bird of time. Uh, it would sit up on top of the wing and uh, folding prop shouldn't be too, um, shouldn't cause too much drag. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to make a sort of a template on the side and then um, work out exactly what it is I'm going to try and try and do. Uh, templates are good aren't they? We all know templates are good. So if I put that on there, stick it down like that, it's a little ledge there that it sort of sits across and then push the two because it's going to be held on. The idea is it's going to be held on with the two um, joining tubes. Tubes? No, wires. Right, I've got good impression there where the thing's going to go. So let's just put that to one side a minute. Just an idea at the moment, but I've got a spare motor and folding prop I can use. The central gravity is just about there, just behind the wing joining dowel. Just double check that. Yes, it is. So the central gravity is there. So I've got some, I've got a motor here out of an old model. It'll only be free cell. Um, with a seat, the ESC is only good for two to three cells, all the amps up inside the pod. And that would go down to the receiver. I'm not sure that would reach the receiver actually. That's there. Let's just pop a line on there. Well, that's not a bad uh, curve to throw in there to start. I think I might put that something like that. That looks pretty good. A uh, smaller one there. And then Okay, now, what about that then? <laughs> yeah, okay, let's uh, let's offer it up. Put it either side of the fuselage and then we push the wire rods through. So that would go like that. The motor will sit up there, so the propeller will sit where this knobby bit is, and it just misses. In fact, look at that, I can still, I oh know I can't, I was going to say I can still have the camera there, but I can't because when the propeller folds, caught in it. So no camera on this one, unless I pop it in just to, just tuck it inside there. Well, I think that's an interesting shape, actually, chaps. I'll pop down the model shop tomorrow, see what they've got. Um, it's not that big. Let's put my hand by it. It's not bigger than my head, really. Transfer that to some medium tomorrow, and I can start making it up into a three-dimensional shape. Guys, I've decided to cut the template out of 1 8 ply. This is as far as I've got tonight. It's just, it's not glued in yet, but it's, uh, looks mighty impressive, I think. A start good start hi guys now a uh, little update for you I've put the motor look at that <laughs> um, I've put the motor on just to see what sort of beans it has because it looks like it's going to be quite heavy um, but uh, 
it seems to have a little bit of pokes that's okay I've only got one little crossbar in there at the moment and it's a little bit flexible with the motor running I'm, I'm just thinking I might put a sort of a diagonal in uh, somewhere but I'll give you a little demo of the motor anyway safety here we go To me it seems pretty powerful so I don't think we'll have any problems there. So I was talking about putting the battery on a plate up under to keep the centre of gravity but I've just been poking around in the nose and I've taken out a couple of chunks of lead so that means if I put the battery in the nose it's going to balance. It's a little bit nose heavy uh, but this has given me, I've got a pair of servos much smaller than the originals here. If I whip those servos out and put the receiver in behind the air brake servo, there'll be bags of room in the nose. In fact, I may even be able to move this battery back a little bit. So I've actually saved myself a bit of nose weight. That's uh, wing loading. And... I'll have two new servos which will go in there easily and um, flight battery within the confines of the fuselage. So it's developing and changing and morphing into a much better aeroplane. So I've got to make the holes for the slots. You can see that in there. I've got to make, I've got to slot the wing retaining band slots and make little holes for the air brakes and we'll make some good progress okay guys thanks very much for watching that completes this part of the power pod build uh, part two seems me changing the servos and finishing the pod and firing the motor up so stay tuned and like and subscribe and you won't miss it cheers bye